Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Raynell Roy and welcome to my channel, Fish and Trips. Now I know what you're saying. Raynell, why do you sound so down and low energetic? I'm gonna tell you why. I've been dreading this moment for about a week, about a week now. Let me let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Hold on. Y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? A little, little right there? It's time. It's time. I tried to delay it as long as possible, but I gotta go to Texas City. It's about 75 miles away. I got about 33 miles before I hit empty. Gas is about 3.95 a gallon right now. So yeah, I'm about to fill up my tank. Let's go. Ah! check it so this is gonna be the first time I've ever kayak fished the Texas City dike I didn't pick the greatest day to do this okay if you check it out we got about 10 to 12 mile an hour north winds I think in about two hours it's gonna start gusting to 15 to 20 so I got to stay close to the shore um, we got heavy cloud cover as you can see yeah man conditions are not that favorable but I'm geared up and ready to go man so I'll be fishing Mosquito Island um, I got a combination, you know what I'm saying? I got some live shrimp. I'm gonna use a bobber. See what's on, you know, what I can get with the bobber. I got some artificial. I still got my husky jerk bait when I went, you know, white bass fishing. White, make sure you watch that live stream. And I got some bugs lure. So we're gonna try the live shrimp first. I don't got time to be playing no games. I ain't trying to get skunk. Mosquito Island, man, very popular, very dangerous. We'll talk about it later. I want one good fish. Just one, Lord. Don't let me get skunk. Just one, and I don't want to die. If I can get one and I don't die, miss is successful. I mean, personally, I think I can do it. Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we got a successful launch. My two-wheel drive almost got stuck. No, almost, I did get stuck. I got like a three-foot hole right there. So if you ever try to launch, look out for that sand. Make sure you park on hard shell and whatnot. So I've always been curious about Mosquito Island. Like I say, it's a very dangerous area. When the shallow, there's a bar, an oyster bar that goes all the way out. However, there's a drop off somewhere over here. So if you're not familiar with the area, them drop offs can catch you slipping. So what I'm gonna do is just you know try to fish that drop off and find it. 
be very careful watch my six because it can be swells there's some big boats out there real far and them swells will come out of nowhere trust me i got a couple of videos with that and the last thing i want to see is a big swell in this kayak all right so let me tell you where i'm at real quick all right so there goes the the oyster bar that goes all the way out right so that's where most people walk out right now i'm in that's a shore right there i'm in 1.4 foot of water so we're gonna look for that drop off see if we can find it 1.3 1.5 and i'm not sure where it's at but it's over here it's like say many waiters unexperienced they'll come out here not knowing the area they don't know where that drop off is at and bam once some waiters get in the water it's a wrap i haven't been in this rough of water although it's not super rough but rough enough all right currently i'm in 1.6 i'm about 30 to 40 yards from shore and we're at 1.6 of water you see here 1.7 point seven so I'm not sure where the drop off set that's what we're gonna look for 4.5 I'm about two to three hundred yards from shore about 75 yards from the oyster reef so we're doing good 4.7 4.8 so I'm almost at the end of the oyster reef five foot it's like five foot of water all right, so we're about five foot right here. It doesn't look like I'm marking anything. Sandy bottom, let me show y'all where I'm at. So we got five foot of water. If you ever want to know what the bottom of the mosquito item looks like, that's what it looks like. But not really marking. So I'm gonna start going like back and forth and see if I can find anything. And yeah, let's see what we can do. 5.2. I thought it dropped to like 17 foot somewhere over here. So we'll see if we can find that area. And um, I'll check back with y'all, all right? Let go. Make sure y'all good, clean. All right, y'all, so I'm in about five foot of water. We're gonna be using live shrimp. I got my Shimano Vanford 500 ultralight seven foot old 18 rod. Got my 10 pound braid. We've been upgraded to 10 pound braid. I'm gonna have a little bitty circle hook. Go right above the horn here. <laughs> Try to watch that brain. I got a slip cork that I use for the jetty. I can adjust my weight. You see what we can do, man. I got a 10 pound um, mono floral leader. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, so I'm about thousand yards offshore thousand yards I don't know how many miles that is no bites it's been about two hours I've been doing the top water on my float no action so what I'm actually do is use a Carolina rig and fish the bottom while I still use my other rig that has this float on here doing nothing so I never done this before where I'm fishing with two rods at once but I think I can make it work as I say that as I'm tangled in everything So what I'm going to do We're going to um, Cast the Carolina rig, fish the bottom I might throw my bugs on the other one with the float So I can fish the bottom with that So Here we go So that one's on the bottom We'll put it in my rod holder. Lock the rod holder in so it's not going to go nowhere. And yeah. <laughs> See if we get a bite while it's on autopilot. Yeah, I'm definitely going over because the water's getting kind of sketchy. And my rod is. Whoa, is that a bite? I think I might be on. Without a bite. Hold on. Damn it right now. Okay, there's too much stuff going on. I'm tangled in my line. 
I swear that was a bike. Hold on. Okay, if we're gonna be fishing the bottom getting bites, I can't put it on all of pilot. Definitely a bite. Definitely a bite. All right, say less. Say less. Okay, we're about to just hold this rod. That one's out of commission for right now. We're gonna start fishing the bottom, y'all. I should have done this two hours ago. What the hell I was thinking. Look how bad it got that quick. Went in like 60 seconds. Gotta really watch this six out here, bro. Yeah, we're just about to land it. I gotta get out this this weather, man. to show how fast the weather can turn on you when you're out there on kayak. My app said that the winds were going to pick up pretty heavily, like around 11 or 12. It's just like that, here it came. So that's why I wanted to make sure I stay close to my truck in my area. Let me get out of here, man. I'm getting splashed up. Check it out, man. My truck, two-wheel drive, almost got stuck, as you can see. Look at that. See how deep that is? Look at that, y'all. Almost got stuck. So what I need to do is um, I'm going to back up but get on the shells where it's more stable. I should be able to do it. Uh, let's try to load it up and see what happens. All right, so uh, let's see if I can do this without getting my truck stuck. I gotta get right adjacent to the shells. Easier said than done. Uh, here we go. Okay, here we go. So I can get stuck in the stand, but... That's soft stuff. Okay, so I'm on the shelves. All right, so I think I should be good, man, because this is traction. This is the saw. Load her up. Here we go. All right, so we're about to find out if I'm gonna get stuck. Here we go. Let me turn on the traction control. And we're gonna gun it. I got this kayak strap down, let's go. 
get up, get up, get up, get up. No, 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 no. We're stuck. We're definitely stuck. Oh, no, wait. Do I got the parking brake on? Oh man, we're definitely stuck. That's the problem. Definite problem. Looks like we're stuck. And I'm not sure how to get out. Let's turn the shells did not help. The kayak. Alright. Let me turn the control. I'm trying to back up a little bit. There we go. Back up. Back up. Back up. There you go. Not too far. Turn. Okay. I took off the track control. Let me see the angle. Get it. Get it. Get it. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, baby. I need a four-wheel damn drive.